sales for space station. Hi everyone! For today, we are going to talk about how to set up a path in Salesforce. To start with, let us first define a path. A path is a Salesforce landing component showing picklist values placed on a record page. It can be used on opportunities, leads, campaigns, contracts, orders, and even on custom objects. It provides information and guides users through a process with the help of key fields and guides for success relevant for each stage, which I'm going to show you on this video. With these things, it helps users to focus on one stage at a time. So now, let me show you how to set up a path. To begin, click on Setup. And on the Quick Find box, search for Path Settings. Click on Enable. Click on New Path. Here you will provide the information needed to create the path. Enter a unique name. And then choose the object that the path will be used on. For this example, I'm going to choose the lead object. And then select a record type. Then choose which pick list from the record type will be used for the path. For this one, I'm going to use the lead status. You should take note that the picklist values will display from left to right following how they are ordered in setup. Alright, let's click on next. On this part, we need to specify the important fields that users need to complete for each stage. You can select up to 5 key fields for each. So for example, let's click on working contacted status. Let's add mobile and email so that whenever a user changes the status to working contacted, the user can check to see if these fields are populated. So let's click this and look for the email and mobile. After selecting these fields, click on Save. On the right side, you will see here a Guidance for Success section. You can put in here some reminders or links. For this example, I'm going to create a reminder. Don't forget to fill in contact details. Then click on next. On this part, it shows you if you want to activate your path. So let's enable it. And then it gives you also the option to enable celebrations. If you enable this, you will be asked if what picklist values will you choose so that whenever this picklist is reached, a confetti will appear on the screen. So for this one, let's choose Close Converted and add this here. Then click on Finish. And then it shows that our path is saved. You can see it here. So now let's try to open a sample record. This is the path that we have just created. We can actually expand this and you will see here the key fields and the guidance for success. So that's it. I hope everything is clear. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up and coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.